Uh, most people are, are professional, and the category now is mostly women aged 23 to 45 who are looking for uh, tattoo removal. Uh, laser stands for light amplification by simulated emission of radiation. Uh, lasers are, are, are unique uh, machines in that uh, they are monochromatic. They fire one wavelength. Uh, it is just, uh, whereas light, white light has many different wavelengths, laser light is just one wavelength. And because of that specificity, we're able to target different chromophores. And a chromophore is uh, the target that you're looking to hit with the laser itself. Uh, coherent, the waves are of, the, of the light are in phase, and then collimated, they're parallel to one another when they're coming out. Uh, that's, these are all characteristics of what a laser is. Uh, and then how intense it is, and these machines are very powerful, and so uh, they can fire that specific energy at a high enough energy level in order to destroy the target that they're looking to get. Uh, wavelengths of light, the visible light spectrum is right around 400 to 700 nanometers of light. Uh, different people can see a little bit more, different people can see a little bit less, but that's the average uh, set of wavelengths of light that people can see. Ultraviolet lights are uh, you know, 290 to 320 uh, being uh, UVC, uh, and then um, 320 to 400 being a UVA and 400 up um, is, is another UVA. There's UVA1 and UVA2. Uh, infrared lights are the lights that are on the opposite side of the spectrum. And uh, that will be the laser light that we're going to be using today, the 1064 nanometer light, in order to destroy tattoo ink. Uh, this is an electromagnetic spectrum that uh, shows the visible uh, light spectrum here, ultraviolet on the smaller wavelength and infrared, microwave, TV, et cetera, on the higher, longer wavelengths of light. Uh, unless you absorb energy, you're not going to get any reaction. So you want the laser to be specific to the target that you're looking to hit. And again, each wavelength of light targets something specific. So the 1064 wavelength of light is very good at targeting black ink. Uh, when you have that uh, wavelength to 532, then it is good at targeting red, uh, a red target. Uh, the more energy that's absorbed by the target, the less energy that penetrates through tissue. So you want to make sure that you're going to hit the target that you're firing that wavelength of energy for. The other thing is you don't want what are called uh, competing chromophores. So if you have red ink and there's you know, a, a red blood vessel malformation right next to it, there could be an issue. And this is just an absorption spectrum. Uh, with lasers, there's something called selective photothermolysis, where you're not just destroying everything. That would be a CO2 laser, which is an ablative laser that just destroys everything in its path. The lasers we're talking about today are targeting specific uh, wavelengths individually and leave the surrounding tissue uh, normal. There are a number of different lasers, argon lasers, ruby, alexandrite, uh, erbium, and the CO2 that I had talked about uh, before. Each different wavelength is specific to uh, the, the characteristics of that laser. So you can have a laser that fires through a medium of gas. You can have a laser that fires through a medium of a crystal. And you can have a laser that fires through a medium of um, a dye. But the different mediums each have their own characteristic when you fire energy through them in order to emit uh, light. And that is why lasers are specific. These are incoherent photons. Uh, they're just not in phase. Coherent photons, which is what we are firing, are in phase. You want these uh, different photons to be in phase, all the same. You want it to be boring and repeatable so that you can get repeatable results. Uh, there are different measures of energy. Uh, we're going to be using fluence for our blazer today. That's joules per centimeter squared. That's how much energy is provided over an area. The higher the energy, the more, the more power that, that there is to destroy a target. Uh, if you go too high on the energy, you may have 
issues with damage to the tissue. If you go too low, you may have issues that you aren't going to have any effect at all. So there's a sweet spot and uh, they have been worked out over time with the different companies and their own specific lasers as to which sweet spots you're trying to hit.